EIGRP, or Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, is a proprietary protocol that can only be used on Cisco routers and equipment. It is classless, so it transmits subnet information and is capable of VLSM or Variable Link subnet masks, that is, discontiguous subnets. EIGRP supports multiple protocols like IP, IPX, and AppleTalk and uses Cisco's proprietary RTP or Reliable Transport Protocol. EIGRP is a hybrid protocol that blends features from both link state and distance vector protocols. It uses a combination of link state data, like Open Shortest Path First, and hop count, like IGRP and RIP, in its composite metrics. As part of its comprehensive composite metric, EIGRP uses hello messages to establish neighbors and routing by rumor. It also uses bandwidth, delay, load, and reliability, like IGRP. EIGRP has an administrative distance of 90, the lowest to be found among all the dynamic protocols on a Cisco router. The lower the administrative distance, the more efficient the protocol. Routes run by protocols of a higher AD are overridden by routes run by protocols of a lower AD. Here are some examples of administrative distances. RIP has an AD of 120, OSPF 110, IGRP 100, and EIGRP 90. Like IGRP, EIGRP has a maximum hop count of 255 and utilizes an autonomous system number to group routers together. Only routers with the same AS number share routes. Any routes outside the AS number are given an administrative distance of 170. Some of EIGRP's key innovative features include hello messages, composed of hello packets, just like with Open Shortest Path First. These form adjacencies or neighbor associations between routers. It also uses RTP and multicast traffic over 224.0.0.10 and creates and maintains a list of replies as neighbors. Another key feature is Dual, known as the Diffusing Update Algorithm. It gives EIGRP the fastest convergence time among all dynamic routing protocols. This algorithm allows VLSM or Variable Link subnet masks, route recoveries, and backup routes. As a hybrid protocol of link state features like OSPF, EIGRP uses a link state database instead of a hop count. To do this, it creates three separate tables, one for neighbors, another for topology, and a third for routing. Only routers that belong to the same autonomous system share routing information and become neighbors. For neighborship to be established, not only must routers share the same AS number, they must also receive hello and ACK packets and have identical metrics. When EIGRP discovers a new neighbor, it forms an adjacency with it through the exchange of hello packets. The routers then exchange their entire routing table with each other. After each has acquired its neighbor's routes, they only exchange changes to the routing table from that point on. As EIGRP routers receive updates, they store them in their topology table, which summarizes all known routes from all known neighbors. From this table, the best routes are selected and placed into the routing table. Here's an example of configuring EIGRP. First, go to Privilege Mode with Enable, then go to Global Configuration Mode with Config-T, then go to Router Configuration Mode with Router, EIGRP, and specify the autonomous system number, like 444. Finally, in Router Configuration Mode, specify the networks you wish to advertise, like 192.168.50.0. So far, I've looked at RIP version 1, RIP version 2, and IGRP as dynamic routing protocols. Now we're going to examine another one called EIGRP which simply stands for Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Like IGRP, it too is a Cisco proprietary protocol. And it's a hybrid protocol in the sense that it combines some aspects of a distance vector protocol like RIP uh, or IGRP with some aspects of a link state protocol such as OSPF or Open Shortest Path First. It has as a maximum hop count 255 and has one of the lowest administrative distances of all the protocols supported on a Cisco router. Its administrative distance is 90, so um, this protocol would be considered to be more efficient or preferred over any of the others. RIP version 1, RIP version 2, IGRP, OSPF. Um, by being a hybrid protocol, again, it, it uses a sophisticated and complex or composite metric um, and looks at many, many, many different things as far as trying to determine the best path to route traffic. It supports VLSM or variable link subnet masking and discontiguous subnets. Um, you know, there's just a lot of really wonderful features for this protocol over some of the other ones. I guess the downside being, once again, since it's proprietary to Cisco, it must be used on Cisco equipment. Can't use it on anything else. 
So to configure it, let's go ahead and we're going to hop on our perimeter router here on our stub network, the Galactica. And let's log in with our password. And we'll go to privilege mode. And from here, I want to go to global configuration mode. And just like IGRP, it uses an autonomous system. So I have to put you know, routers or neighbors in the same autonomous system so that they will advertise networks and communicate with each other. If I don't put them in the same system, they won't. And so in this case, I need to do that. So I'm going to do router and EIGRP. And let's do 444. Why is it stalking me? No, but, um, I want to advertise the network. Ooh, net rock. Network uh, 199 to a 7, 10-0. I want to advertise. And at this point, I can exit um, and exit and just copy, run, start. Go ahead and save what I have. Okay, so that's the first one. Now I just need to go over and configure my other two routers now that this is saved. So that one's set up. Let me go on to my middle router. And notice for the middle router, I need to advertise networks 20, 40, and 30. All of those direct adjacencies I want to advertise. So, oops. And let me go ahead and enable to go to privilege mode and config T to go to global configuration mode. And let me use the router command and EIGRP and 444. We'll put that in the autonomous system and let me advertise network. Let's see, network 199 to a 720 and 30 and 40 Okay, and we're done there. And Copy, run, start. And let's go configure our last perimeter router on this stub network, the Valkyrie. So, Kiwi. Enable Kiwi. Global configuration mode. Router configuration mode. EIGRP autonomous system 444. And network. 199-207-50 is what we need to advertise. Okay, and once again, copy. We're going to start to save my configuration. And then we'll go test it. Let's take a look at some EIGRP traffic. Well, let's take a look at just some debugging information and traffic generated by EIGRP. And I'm going to hop into a perimeter router this time and Kiwi, and I want to go to privilege mode, password Kiwi, and from privilege mode, just a couple of commands I want to run. I'm going to do show IP route, and you can see here that, um, you know, in this case, these are the routes that have been discovered with EIGRP. Notice the code up here, EIGRP. And then, of course, I have two direct connections or adjacencies on the router. Um, another thing I could do is show IP protocol, and that would show me EIGRP and I'm in Autonomous System 444. And just send me some, some, some of the defaults here. Uh, another thing I'd, I could do is look at my running configuration and I can see what networks I'm advertising. If I scroll down here, um, you notice uh, EIGRP 444, and I'm, in this case on the perimeter router, I'm only advertising 109.207.10.0. Okay. And if I wanted to look at some EIGRP uh, Let's, let's get some neighbors and we'll try the topology. So I'm going to do show um, IP EIGRP neighbor. And this will give me an idea of my neighbors here. In th this case, notice where I am. I'm on this router, right? So 192.0721. And it knows that my neighbor and, and its autonomous system, 444, is 192.0722, this middle router here. Okay, so they are communicating. That was uh, show IP EIGRP neighbor. Let me do show IP EIGRP topology. Okay, and again, this will just show, um, you know, as far as the information that I'm, I've, I've gathered through EIGRP about how to route traffic to different networks. Um, let me go ahead and exit out here. 
After waiting for convergence, let's test our EIGRP network out. So now let's test it out and see where we can route packets to. I'm going to hop on Artemis and we'll try to get packets to Daedalus this time. Let's see how far we can get. Obviously we should be able to hit our gateway, so ping 199.207, uh, let's do 10.1. Looks good. Let's do the adjacency on the other side, 21. Looks good. And then on that router, there is a 31 on the fast ethernet connection, which would be an adjacency to the middle router. And then off on network 30, there's a host Apollo who's 10. Okay, and we're routing to him via EIGRP. So we're getting from network 10 all the way down to network 30. Now let's try and get over here some. So an adjacency on the router is 41. And we get echo replies. And well, let's see if we can make it to the adjacency on the, you know, the third, the perimeter router on this side, the Valkyrie. So 42. And okay, and then if we can make it there, we should be able to get to the next adjacency on the router, 51, on Classy Network 50. So we'll do 51. Looks good. And if we can get that far, we've got the gateway of Network 50. And we should be able to route packets and get echo replies from any of these hosts. So we'll try Daedalus. Daedalus is the one we said we wanted to try. And he's 10. And there you go. So EIGRP has you know, taken care of providing us the paths and routes to get packets through these five networks back and forth.